Uh, today I'm talking about speedballing or snowballing. Now this is a term used for people that mix heroin and cocaine together in the same injection. <laughs> now, this is especially dangerous and potentially dangerous and hazardous because obviously heroin works by slowing down the heart and the breathing and cocaine actually speeds up the breathing. So what's happening here is, one, uh, the heroin is activating the parasympathetic nervous system and the cocaine is activating the sympathetic nervous system. Now these are two opposing uh, mechanisms, opposing parts of the nervous system, branches of the autonomic nervous system, which is a branch of the central nervous system. So what happens is when you take these drugs together, you can have like a, fo you can put, you put your body into a, you, basically you get a false sense of security because the cocaine will wear off quicker than the heroin. So you take them, you inject them, you feel the drug, um, the cocaine, the heroin, both working. Now, obviously heroin's got a totally different effect to cocaine, heroin, they both cause euphoria, but in different ways and for different mechanisms, right? So what happens is the cocaine will wear off almost very quickly, not immediately, but not, not many minutes after you've taken it. So when the cocaine's worn off, the cocaine's the thing that's keeping your heartbeat from falling below a certain threshold. Now, once the cocaine's wore off, there's nothing now to protect your heart from beating slowly, basically from the heroin from coming to the forefront and heroin now can take over. Now, the heroin will work by slowing down your heartbeat and the electrical signals from the brain to the heart to tell it to, to, beat, to beat and from the brain to the lungs to tell them to breathe. So the cocaine was protecting you before, but now it's worn off, but the heroin is, is going to basically slow it down. So you can overdose then, you'll slip into unconsciousness, and that's how a lot of people have died. Now, it's because they don't know the pharmacology or the chemistry or, or any of it, the neurobiology of, of drugs, they just take the drugs. Now, I think it's an important thing, very important, it's, some, it's basically life-saving to understand the mechanism of drugs, how they work, how they work in the body, and also drug synergy, where two drugs, or more, more than two drugs, taken together, actually can form a third chemical, like, like the case with alcohol and cocaine when they mix together in the blood they form a substance called cocaethylene and sometimes that substance can be cardiotoxic or toxic to other organs now whereas on their own they're not so they're not toxic obviously they're dangerous in in lethal doses but not toxic T taking them taking them together suppresses the negative side effects of the two drugs it's only when the her the the cocaine wears off that the negative effects or the breathing slow, the respiratory depression uh, effects of the heroin will come to the forefront, like I said a minute ago, and that is when the breathing will slow down. And basically, the, the user, the, these, this use, this, this basically behaviour from drug users, this provides a false sense of security. So the user doesn't actually think, they actually think that they can have, they can, that their tolerance is higher than it actually is, when it actually isn't. So this has led to many deaths.